Well, I tell you what, my granddaddy helped build uh, the first Baptist church was built on Hemp Hill. Uh, he made liquor all his life. He he made liquor, and and I've been told this to be the truth too. And he would uh, he took the liquor and sold it, and then took the money and helped buy the materials it took to build the first Baptist church on Hemp Hill that was ever built. I guess no matter what kind of, how you get your money, I mean, if you put it in the right place, I guess the good Lord probably bless you for it anyway. Whether you got it selling taters or making liquor, don't matter, don't reckon. Don't to me anyway. Yeah, my granddad died in 1964 and buried him in a place called the Sugar Cove. Back then, the roads were rough, and his gullies washed out three foot deep. And he died in March, and there's snow on the ground. The ambulance could went to hearse, or whatever you call it, went as far as it could go, and then we unloaded him off the hearse on the back of a jeep truck and took ropes and roped the casket down and hauled it on the end of the cemetery. But my dad told me back years before that that when somebody died, they'd go down to Hemp Hill Church and ring the church bell, and then. There was a man up there, his name was Duckett. He had a great big team of horses. Uh, he'd meet them, he'd meet there where the gravel road ends, and he'd put the casket over on a sled and hook that big team of horses to it and pull it all the way to the graveyard on a sled. 